Hi, good, good afternoon. It's actually Sunday. Went to church today with the choir practice. All right, what we're going to make today is a really good British delicacy. It's uh, called lemon curd, C-U-R-D. I'm going to use a stick of butter. What I have to do here is melt the butter. And I'm also, when the butter is melting very slowly on low medium heat, I will make the egg mixture. All right, Misty, you win. Here you go, baby. This cat has a thing about butter. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the butter on a low flame. Okay. Because we don't want to speed it up too fast and then it gets all, the butter gets like burnt looking, you know, we don't want that to happen. Look at her, she's still eating the butter. Missy's my star cat. She loves performing and here's Niall. Niall. Niall gets into everything. She's one of those cats that just loves to get into everything. And there's Luna. The whole gang is here today to watch Mommy make her lemon card. So anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to add in one and two thirds cup of sugar, granulated sugar, into the butter mixture. The butter mixture has to melt very, very slowly. It's now melting on a very slow because we don't want to melt it too fast. Because it's a real mess if it melts too fast. There we go. What I'm doing now is I'm going to put in very slowly one and two thirds cup of sugar. We don't want to put it in too fast because it gets that yeah, it gets very pasty, and we don't want that to happen. Okay. Very slowly. Mix it together with the butter. We don't want it too pasty, but you put sugar in too fast, it'll get very, very, that pasty. Like, we don't want that to happen. And I recommend you parents, make sure your kids do not eat this. It's extremely sweet that I haven't added the lemon in yet. Okay. Okay. Bring it very slowly, because I don't want this to get... I made this dish once before, and I did something very dumb. I forgot to put the egg mixture in, and we would have been eating raw eggs. Now, that's not a good idea. I'm going to add in two-thirds cup more sugar. Okay. Get in there. Very slow. It's a gradual thing. This is, like I said, is made... And the British actually discovered this lemon card, C-U-R-D. Okay, just a little bit more sugar. Okay. okay. Yeah, I went to church today. Everybody's still sick. I have the choir was coughing today. Okay. Now the next step we're going to do is, I want to take this off the flame, because I don't want to leave it on the flame and it burns. So the next step I'm going to do is, I am going to add in four eggs, four whole eggs. One. Two. Okay, if you get a shell in there, don't panic. It happens all the time to the best. All you need to do is grab a spoon, it comes right out. Not a big deal. So there's no more in there. There's one more in there, I gotta get this little baby out. Come on, it's almost out. There, we got it. Okay, we need one more egg. There we go. All right. Put these eggs here. Now what I want to do is make sure there's no more shells in there. No, I don't see anything. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the egg. Like I'm making scrambled eggs. I'm going to add in one cup of fresh lemon juice. And I'm going to add in, this is what's going to make it really pretty. When you make a pudding or anything, you always have cornstarch and one teaspoon of cornstarch. There we go. 
gonna mix this together. And now what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna put this into the butter mixture uh, around low to medium heat, and this is gonna be mixed together. It's very important that when you make anything with eggs, you have to cook it on the stove for at least five to eight minutes because you have to make sure the eggs are cooked. Okay, we've got to put a little bit more in. It's going to go for eight minutes and be stowing almost non-stop. There we go. Okay. Okay. I've been stowing this virtually almost non-stop for eight minutes and you can see it's getting very thick. Okay, it's starting to bubble. I'm going to just do it for just another minute. I just want to make sure everything is out. There's little whites here. This is getting somehow mixed in here. A little faster, maybe. Get rid of some of this white, bumpy stuff. Where it comes from, I don't know. Sometimes cornstarch does that. Okay. Another minute. Just want to make sure. Right, this is a very fantastic British delicacy dessert. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is. I don't want to spill anything. I'm going to pour it into this bowl, okay? Yeah. It's going to take, I'm guessing, two to three hours for it to really thicken. It's already starting to thicken, but as you can see, it's very watery yet. Okay. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to wrap this up with a little bit of foil. Excuse me. Real tight. You want it very tight. You are trying to keep it airtight. You want it without a little bit of fire. Remind me to buy some more time, lady. Okay. I want to put them in the fridge. I'm saying two to three hours. Because this has got to thicken now. It'll, it'll, it'll become like a pudding texture. Two to three hours. We've been keeping this cool for almost... You really have to cool this for three to four, sometimes six hours. You want it to come out like a pudding texture, okay? Let's see, this is what we basically want it to look like, really thick pudding. Now what I'm going to do is, a lot of people don't believe in doing it, but I like to put a little cream on top of this. There we go. Let's mix it more attractive. And sometimes, even on top of the cream, we can mix a little lemon juice in there, but I think this is, this is very lemony. It's a really fantastic British dish. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, see how beautiful that is? Oh my goodness. So this is called Lemon Cord, C-U-R-D, a British Delic Delicacy from Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day and please subscribe.